dear students in this video i will discuss about remote sensing gis gps which are in the portion of gate architecture first i will discuss about remote sensing what is remote sensing remote sensing actually it is a science as well as it is an art also here we by remote sensing we collect the information about objects area from distance the word remote means it is from a distance without being in physical contact with the object so that is the remote sensing remote means from a distance without being in the physical contact sensing means we are taking or the collecting the information about the object now this word sensing uh, from here i will continue that in remote sensing it uses aerial sensor to detect the object on the earth sensors are used now sensor used are number 1 can be active number 2 it can be passive among the active uh, sensor uh, what happens in the active sensor here it emits its own radiation to monitor the earth surface for example laser sensor radar so they are the active sensor in passive sensor it detects the sunlight uh, or uh, by thermal radiation which is reflected from the earth surface here what happens sun is the source of the electromagnetic energy it records the energy that is naturally radiated or reflected from the object next is methods of remote sensing there are three methods number 1 thermal and multispectral scanning number 2 microwave sensing number 3 earth resource satellite here i want to mention that stereoscopy sometimes the confusion happens that stereoscopy is also a method of remote sensing but no it is a 3d effect of a photography so stereoscopy is the 3d effect of a photography it is not any method of remote sensing in uh, the methods there are only three methods as i have discussed now next is uh, irs what is irs irs is the indian remote sensing satellite these are launched by the isro and for what purpose it is used for the agricultural research geographical mapping study of coastal hydrodynamics water quality survey etc actually in this topic what is expected in the gate exam that you know the different terminologies what are the purpose of the remote sensing gis or gps uh, the different terminologies the different sensor used like this way so you should know the terminologies are very important from the gate point of view now next i will discuss about the temporal resolution or multi stage imaging this is very very important what do you mean by this or what is done in this process the observations are made over the same area on different dates to monitor the ground feature like crop growth etc in temporal resolution or multi stage imaging what happens for a same area for first we choose a particular area now on that same area we do the observation on different dates but we repeat on the same area and for what we uh, for and we monitor that what are the ground features like the crop growth and the other uh, in, uh, in uh, area of interest which we want to study next is uh, what is radar the full form of radar is radio detector and ranging okay so what it is it is an object detector system it uses the radio waves from that uh, the name came as radio detector so it uses the radio wave to determine the range altitude that means height the direction speed etc of the object where it is used the radar radar is used in the anti missile system uh, flight control system air defensive system traffic information system and the various cases uh, now i will discuss about wind displacement law for the remote sensing the formula goes like this way lambda equal to a by t where lambda is equal to the radiation on the earth surface it is expressed in micrometer a is a constant t is the mean temperature on the surface of the earth and it is uh, in kelvin k so uh, by this formula we can find uh, the radiation on earth surface
नेक्स्ट आई विल टॉक अबाउट द जियोग्राफिकल इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम जी आई एस सो इन दिस सिस्टम इन जी आई एस वॉट वी डू वी कैप्चर वी स्टोर वी मैनिपुलेट वी एनालाइज वी प्रेजेंट ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ जियोग्राफिकल रेफरेंस डेटा ओके सो वॉट आर द टूल्स यूज ओवर हियर देर आर फोर कैटेगरी ऑफ टूल्स वी आर यूज नंबर वन इन्फॉर्मेशन नंबर टू हार्डवेयर नंबर थ्री सॉफ्टवेयर एंड नंबर फोर इज द मल्टी मीडिया सो दिस आर द फोर डिफरेंट टूल्स वी यूज ओवर हियर इन जी आई एस सो अमंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन टूल्स इट कम्स द फोटोग्रामेट्री डेटा रेडार डेटा रिमोट सेंसिंग डेटा Out of a uh, hardware uh, requirement, uh, hardware uh, we use computer, printer, and scanner. Software in the software part we use ACAD, AutoCAD, GIS software, and in case of a multimedia we use two D, three D photo, three D models, etc. Now, what are the alternate planes of GIS? Alternate planes of GIS are uh, EIS, RIS, AMA. fame etc now as i have told you earlier also that these are the short forms so you should know the uh, full form of all these things because from here the question can be framed eis means environment information system ris stand for resource information system amfm means automatic map and facility management okay now next i will discuss about the gps gps stands for global positioning system what is gps we all know nowadays because we in mobile also we are use the gps correct in uh, sometimes if we have to go through some area or some new area we have never been before so we use the we make our gps on in our mobile uh, and then we reach our destination uh, very comfortably correct so what is gps gps actually it is a satellite based system radio positioning system here uh, the information is provided about the instantaneous velocity that means at that moment correct instantaneous velocity what is the velocity time almost anywhere and at any time and it is independent of any weather it is raining so gps is not working it is not like that oh it is chilly cold so how the gps will be working it is not a, a problem so at any weather any time anywhere so it uh, provides information gps so what are the uses personal navigation as i have started with aircraft navigation offshore survey vessel navigation etc so various uses various it is and it is widely used uh, nowadays so now this gps it is operated by us us department of defense that is the dod now as i was discuss uh, discussing that uh, it is developed by the gps is developed by the us uh, dod so they have developed that navstar gps so it is a network of 24 satellites these are the crucial data from where the question can be formed correct so it is a satellite of um, sorry network of 24 satellites height of the satellites are 11500 miles please remember the unit also and the speed of uh, satellite is 3.9 km per second in one second it travels 3.9 km around 4 km correct now next is the very important uh, information or um, it can be framed as a question also that what are the minimum number of satellite you would need for gps to determine its pos uh, position now understand this point very well the answer can be four answer can be three answer can be four in that case that if we want to know the latitude longitude altitude then four satellites are needed correct but if we want to know only latitude and longitude then three will suffice so uh, here i want to tell that if in the exam the question comes like this way that what are the minimum number of satellite it is required it is four but i have given you the information that if specifically it ask just to find out the latitude and longitude what is the minimum number then you can answer it as three so uh, in the next part i will discuss about uh, the probable questions uh, which can come uh, for the gate uh, 2021 from this topic that is remote sensing gis and gps so please keep watching 
now i will discuss few uh, questions which may appear in the gate 2021 from the topic remote sensing gps gis etc so here are few questions please have a look at it if the mean temperature of the sun surface is 6000 k and lambda meter of its uh, radiation is 0.5 micrometer what is the mean temperature of earth surface for which lambda meter is uh, 10.0 micrometer according to wien's displacement law in remote sensing concept option a 25 degree centigrade option b 28 degree centigrade option c 30 degree centigrade option d 27 degree centigrade so as i have discussed earlier that the wien's displacement law is lambda equal to a by ts uh, now first we see for the sun the mean temperature of the sun is uh, given as 6000 k and radiation of uh, the sun is given as 0.5 micrometer these two are given data so the formula lambda equal to a by ts if we put over there we find the value of constant a as 3000 micrometer k so this uh, first we can derive it after that so now we have to find the on the earth surface what is the mean uh, temperature so the radiation given on the earth surface is 10 micrometer a value we have got just now 3000 micrometer k so now we can get the value of uh, temperature on the earth surface as 300 k now as you know uh, from the kelvin if we have to convert it into centigrade because the options are given in centigrade so what we have to do we have to subtract 273 degree so 300 k minus 273 so that will give uh, the temperature as 27 degree centigrade so what is the correct option the correct option is option c uh, sorry option d that is the 20 Seven degree centigrade. Option D, twenty-seven degree centigrade. Let us see another uh, two questions. Question number two: What is the minimum number of satellites required from which signals can be recorded to enable a global positioning system receiver to determine latitude, longitude, and altitude? This question already I have discussed earlier. So option A is one. Option B is two. Option C is three. Option D is four. So the correct answer is. Four, as I have discussed earlier. But if it is only latitude and longitude, then three is sufficient. But for this question, the correct answer is four, as latitude, longitude, and altitude. Okay. Question number three: Which one of the following is not strictly a method of remote sensing? Option A: Thermal and multispectral scanning. Option B: Microwave sensing. Option C. earth resource satellite and option d is stereoscopy as i have discussed earlier stereoscopy is not a method of re, uh, remote sensing it is the 3d effect of the photography let us have a look at another question question number 4 the observation made over the same area on different dates to monitor ground features like crop growth is called temporal resolution radiometric resolution spatial resolution spectral resolution the correct answer is temporal resolutions as i have already discussed because temporal uh, resolution means the observation on a particular area is made on different dates to monitor the ground feature or the <coughs> topographical features of of an area so now let us have a look at the other options that what does they mean uh, that is uh, radiometric resolution actually it is the capability to differentiate the spectral reflectance between the various target that is called the re radiometric resolution option c is the spatial resolution spatial resolution it is the smallest object that can be detected and distinguished from a point and uh, option d is the spectral resolution so it refers to the width of a spectral band so as i have told you earlier that in this uh, topic the different terminology you should be accustomed with so uh, like this way these are the basic definition of the different terms 
now uh, let us now have a look at some multiple select questions as i have uh, uh, told you that in this from this year 2021 gate uh, so uh, gate has introduced multiple select questions so let us have a look how they can form the question so question number 5 is consider the following parameters in respect of the radar principle number 1 it is active sensing system number 2 electromagnetic radiation of wavelength is in centimeter range option 3 it operates in visible region option d it comprises radio detection and ranging which of the above statements are correct option a is 1 option b is 2 option c is 3 and option d is 4 now as uh, i have told you in the earlier uh, videos also that in the multiple choice question if you mark all the correct options then only you are getting the full marks but suppose out of the four options if you are or out of the three correct options out of the three correct options if you have marked only two correct options then also you will get zero because uh, you have not marked all the correct options but you will not get any any partial marking out of three correct answer if you mark only two correct answer you will not get any partial marking so remember this point so for this question uh, the statement 1 2 and 4 are correct statement 1 2 and 4 correct so you have to mark option a option b and option d let us have a look at the another multiple select questions question number 6 consider the following statement irs series satellites are 1 low orbiting satellites 2 geostationary satellites 3 meteorological satellites 4 resource survey satellites which of these statements are correct option a 1 option b 2 option c 3 option d is 4 now as i have explained you earlier in the multiple select questions you have to mark all correct options even if you miss one correct option you will get zero so the option is over here the which statements are correct so uh, statement number 1 2 and 4 are correct that is irs series satellites are low orbiting satellites they are geostationary sat satellites and they are resource survey satellites so here actually in the option you have to mark option a option b and option d so 1 2 4 correct so i have also earlier discussed that irs uh, they are the irs means the indian remote sensing satellites they are a series of uh, actually earth or observation satellites they are built they are launched and they are maintained by isro indian space research organization and obviously they are the resource uh, survey satellites because by using uh, this um, irs uh, uh, we get uh, the data about the agricultural research geographical mapping study of the coastal hydrodynamics water quality survey etc etc and they are also geostationary satellites so the option will be a b and d let us see another question match list 1 with list 2 and select the correct answer using the codes given below the list list 1 a visual interpretation b geographical information system c national remote sensing agency d supervised image classification in the list 2 option 1 creation of data bank of multi information for a project area 2 visual identification of object from image characteristics 3 computer classification of digital image data four supplier of aerial and satellite based remote sensing data products in india here there are four options given a b c d and you have to match for this type of question the only thing is you require uh, more time because a b c d four uh, sides in list 1 and you have to match it with the list 2 also so it is uh, the problem is only it is time consuming but it is a simple question so uh, first option is the a uh, list one first uh, thing is the a is the visual interpretation so visual interpretation it is the visual identification of object from the image characteristics so a will match with two now if you see in the options a b c d option a and b both are having a two options correct and then if you go for a2 then b comes with the one option 
B is for geographical information system. So let us uh, have a look that what is the option one. So geographical information system, it is the creating of the data bank of multi information for a project area. Okay, now the conf uh, confusion comes over here that the C and the D that whether it will be C3 or C4 uh, or it will be D4 or D3. So here you have to um, uh, just make a choice that what will be the correct option. So let us have a look at the C. C is the National Remote Sensing Agency. So this uh, NRSA, this is the supplier of aerial and the satellite based remote sensing data products in India. So C will come with 4. So option D is the supervised image classification. So this goes for the computer classification of digital image data. So here also I have discussed about the uh, match list 1 and list uh, how this is also called the matrix match type of question. So this type of question can also be framed in some type single choice or uh, in other format also.